welcome back to the spoiler cast the podcast where we talk about movies and we don't really care about spoiling them since they either uh, premiered a few weeks ago or in this case it premiered was it, like 30 years 30 33 years ago yeah um yeah so we're gonna spoil stuff um and in this uh, in this episode we are of course as always uh, not sponsored by monster. But um, hey, we really like your drinks. So if if you want to sponsor us, we'll we'll promote the hell out of you. We'll keep drinking it. It's uh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> but the movie we're talking about uh this week is Top Gun, not Top Gun Maverick. But because they just released the trailer of Top Gun Maverick, and it is in my case an absolutely <clears throat> Amazing, spectacular trailer. I thought we could discuss the uh, cult classic, or I guess just classic, uh, 80s action movie, Top Gun. Um, but uh, before we do that, before we before we get into that discussion, um, you all know that I've seen the trailer. Um, there's a, a, a trailer reaction up here somewhere. My trailer reaction for it. Um, well, not on your side of the screen. <laughs> Um, so, Why not? I, so I've seen it, but my sister has not. No. So we're actually getting her live uh, reaction to the trailer right now. Okay. So we're she's she's we're just gonna play the trailer and she's gonna watch it and we'll see if we both think it's amazing or if she doesn't or yeah whatever. So hit it. Okay. Let's see. Thirty plus years of service. Combat medals, citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last forty years. Yet you can't get a promotion. You won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are. Captain. What is that? Oh my. <laughs> One of life's mysteries, sir. is inevitable, Maverick. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I... don't have much else to say. No, it... <laughs> it, it, it the trailer itself is awesome. It's very visually awesome. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> since, you, since you, since you, oh no, continue. Say, however. However, <laughs> it kind of feels like a project for Tom Cruise to just have fun with. Yeah, that's every movie he makes nowadays. Well, yeah, but not extra this one. It's, it's <laughs> just, he just wants to ride a motor, motorcycle and fly planes and yeah. have fun. Because but... he's flying himself, isn't he? There, of it. There's no uh, there's no information yet, but that looks too real to be 
like he a special to. effect or visual effect. He has to be in that plane. I mean, considering everything else he does by uh, himself. Yeah, it's, exactly. It it's must be probably him. Yeah. him doing at least some of it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it, I mean, it, all the music, all the like, the glasses, horrible. the jacket is so ridiculously yeah. awesome. Well, yeah, but at the same time, it just feels like it's it's a somewhat remake of the old one, but mm. he's older, so he's got to change a little bit. Well, yeah, it's, it's... Someone dies. He has to prove himself. Yeah. Seems kind of like the same thing. Yeah, because originally, well, first when they started talking about the sequel, it was supposed to be... Uh, Starring Val Kilmer, uh, Iceman, in, in the mm -hmm. original. Um, and Tom Cruise wasn't going to be in it. It was going to be like a, not low budget, but not like a big, super ultra big expensive blockbuster. More like a mid-sized movie. And it was going to be like a digital digital release or something. Like, yeah. They do that nowadays? Oh, yeah. Lots of movies. But that was the Straight first thing. Netflix? I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Um, but that was years and years, like four or five years ago I heard about that okay. um, so they obviously changed that this looks this looks very expensive um, and it's it's a proper sequel with um, with Tom Cruise in it and that mm -hmm. might be because uh, from what I from what I heard or from, from what I found fi found out uh, that Val Kilmer is uh, battling throat cancer right now so maybe he doesn't want to make a movie right now um, might be difficult yeah so he, he probably won't be in the movie which is bad but i mean he well we'll, we'll get into to his character later like i thought from yeah uh quick disclosure before we actually begin i saw this trailer without having seen the original top gun i i actually never saw it um i know i know what a film buff uh, <laughs> um but i was still super pumped for it because i knew all the songs i knew all the scenes i knew all the memes so i kind of i understood the trailer even though i hadn't seen the movie and yeah. it's just it's generically designed uh, to to pump up anyone. It's not that oh, it's the thing I remember. No, it's 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 music. It's speed. It's jet planes. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to pump you up, no matter if you've seen it or not. Um, but you, having seen the original before you saw the trailer, um, did it, did you get that? Well, you just saw it like what yesterday. Mm, yes. Yeah. So maybe it's not like nostalgic well, for you, no. but. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it. I saw it yesterday for the first time. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've seen it before. I just don't remember all of it. Yeah, I probably yeah. Like, well, you know, you flip past it on on the TV and you you watch it and you maybe you missed a couple of scenes because you switch in commercials and all that stuff. Yeah, that's probably how how I've gotten to see certain scenes of the movie. Uh, but I've never seen the whole thing until yesterday. Um, but I thought after seeing the trailer for the sequel, I was like, well. Now I I have to see the original, even though mm. the original is kind of it's kind of those one of those movies you 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 just have seen, doesn't yeah. Mean, but I I never did. But now I thought this is a perfect opportunity to watch it. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the first Top Gun. Like what 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 was your uh, initial uh, what is your what are your initial thoughts on it? It was entertaining. I mean, I liked it. It's not gonna like I'm gonna watch it over and over again, but it was good. Um, bit slow at the end. Oh. Well, oh, okay, no, yeah, not, right well, before the end. Yeah, right before the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After after Goose dies. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of slows down a bit much, because we. That's when I like. Oh, what my? How long has this been going on? I checked the times. Like, oh, it's forty minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... But that's the, that's the second act low point. I was wondering when that was going to happen because everything's just going well for them. I mean, yeah, but it was a very long low point. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. It usually isn't for. I think it was for almost thirty minutes. That low mm, point. Maybe, maybe thirty, twenty to thirty something. Yeah. Uh, but still, yeah, yeah. It go it goes on for a while. Um. Uh. But I I, I predicted the ending because I was like, oh, he's gonna say he's gonna quit, and then. He, uh -huh. he he's on his way to quit, and then like, oh, uh, Maverick, we need you. The Russians are coming. And that's yeah, basically obviously. what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I, uh, I like it too. I, I, it wasn't like the greatest movie I've ever seen. 
No. Um, and it feels a little bit hyped up. Mm-hmm. Um, in the in the in the media or, or in the mainstream, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I still enjoyed it, and I th- I uh, it definitely feels like a movie where they're kind of winking at the camera. They're having fun with it. it's not a se- nowhere it's supposed to be a serious movie. They, it's it's, it's no. even a little bit goofy from time to time. Yeah. Um, and those things I like uh, laughed out loud at like ha. Ah! Um, so I, I did like it and I, and I, I really, I thought that the energy was good. I liked the pacing. Yeah. Maybe a little Mm -hmm. slow there, um, towards the end, but I still really liked the pacing. Um, but I'm not sure if you, if you know this about the movie, Uh, hold on, let me actually double check that before I say something because, (laughs) um, like no lying in the podcast. No, exactly. Let's see. It's supposed to be the movie is supposed to be, uh, well, not exactly. Let's see here. Supposed to be. Yeah, like like the movie is like was it was uh, like a a a a a rumor about the movie that it was that it was supposed to be like a like a recruiting tool for the uh, for the navy because they're in the navy. Mm. Um, yeah. Which just just looking through the the. The history of the movie, it didn't, it wasn't a recruiting tool f- uh, initially. Like they were, they were just gonna make a movie about the 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 the, the fighter pilots. Mm-hmm. Um, but who knows what went on back uh, behind the scenes? But but the the navy did use the movie as a recruit recruiting tool to get more people into the navy, both like uh, ground ground troops and and uh, pilots. Uh, because and, and and it makes sense because. It does glorify the whole flight school and just flying in general. A bit, yes. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Kind of, kind of interesting that we I, we have both the f- male and female perspective of, of the movie. Because as a guy, I was like, oh man, I should have been a fighter pilot. It looks so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> At certain points in the movie, it's like, damn, they look to have so much fun. They seem to have so much fun. Well, yeah, I can see that, but at the same time. They show people dying while practicing. Well, they yeah. show the, the I mean the first first couple scenes you have a guy diverting because he's uh he under too much pressure from from just coming face to face with a, an enemy, a bogey. Yeah. Yeah, and I think those parts are like what was in the script before it turned into some kind of recruitment tool. Yeah. I think they sent probably added a lot of the the, the cool stuff. Um, and there's the whole, like, the, the beginning of the movie is just, you're just watching planes actually, uh, lift off from, from the hangar mm-hmm. ship. Um, it's almost like, like airplane porn to like get you pumped on airplanes <laughs> yeah. or fighter, yeah, fighter planes. Yeah. Or some sort of commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, but I guess, yeah, when, when Goose dies, that's probably from, from the, it's in the script, but it's probably also, um, like a disclaimer, like this is this is this is real. This is not just training. You're 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 yeah. you're training, but it is for combat. So that kind of thing. I'm just you know throwing that out there. I don't I don't have any evidence for this other than the Navy did actually use the movie and like posters and and um, the songs the and posters, stuff as recruiting tools. Of course, of course, that 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 stuff is really hyping. I mean, you, mm. you get hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. I mean, and all the. All- all the one-liners. I yes. feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> and so they look good. cool, and they have such yeah. camaraderie. And he's riding his bike without a helmet, and all that stuff. You get to become yeah. a maverick. But at the same time, <laughs> yeah, this movie had a lot of gay energy. Yes, this is one of those movies that people call homoerotic. Yes, um, which which and it's. Very obvious. Yes, I I usually don't understand that thing because I don't I don't know the whole I, I I know what homoeroticism is, but like um just quickly, you know the scene in Rocky Three when they're training, uh-huh. and yeah. they they're running on the beach and Rocky finally beats uh Apollo Creed. He runs faster than him because yeah. he has he has to be fast fighter in the third one. And they're they're jumping into the just into the shoreline into the water and they're hugging and the water splashing. People call that like a homoerotic scene. I never, I never got that. I, I honestly, I wanted to make a video about this. I've, I've wanted for a long time, but I've, um, I've been looking into like homoeroticism in media, 
And it's like, it's a way too big of a, 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 um, a project for my channel right now, but it's something I definitely <laughs> want to do later. Because I don't get that. That is just two guys celebrating. They're well, friends. I the don't thing is that get they it. portray them as such macho men in yes. the rest of the oh, movie. Oh, sure. I forgot to say that. Yes, there are certain scenes in Top Gun where even I was like, yeah, that's kind of gay. I mean, like, only a few scenes, but... I, I still yeah, get it. but yeah. th there's, uh, it's it's too much when in those few scenes it's too much. It is the one where I was like, oh my god, that it's they're when this close to kissing, basically. Yeah, when they're standing in the locker room, Iceman and Maverick, and mm -hmm. he says, "I am dangerous," and Iceman just goes, and "It's yeah, like, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, what are you doing?" Was he hitting on him? That was a little <laughs> weird, but like. Them standing around in their in, in towels or yeah hugging well, at the not, beach. No, no, no. no, I don't. No, not all the time. Because but, like people, if you so... put no, wait. Okay. If you put two macho men. Yes. In any other movie, they will not hug. First of all, mm. they will do the one hand shake sort of pat in the back thing. Sure. Or just shake hands or fist bump or something yeah they won't like smile and celebrate and happy hug each other and jump into each other's arms and lift each other up and spin around which they do in top gun yeah at the end like when um slider i think it is like picks maverick up and like spins him around yeah happiness. yeah well it's a bit much when you look at how they usually portray macho men yeah, but I that, think that's the that's it's it's such a contrast. I know, I know, but but I've always felt I've always felt that that uh, this is gonna this is gonna uh, uh, become a, a a conversation about maleness or or I don't know <laughs> ma male male culture because honestly the way the way I see it, um, pe people are like oh. Af afraid of uh, or men, I should say, uh, m men in between men are like afraid to show emotions, or yeah, like you say, afraid to even hug. Instead, they just do the handshake or fist bump or whatever, because they're afraid it's gonna be gay. I don't really, I don't, I under I understand where that comes from, um, but I think that as long as uh, as long as you're like sure of yourself and your sexuality. I, I don't I don't see the problem with that. No, and it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. I but mean, it, it's the way media has portrayed it for so many years that it, it becomes a norm, a pro well, a problem for some yeah. people to to not be able to express their emotions in that way. Yeah, and so, and that's what and that's what p people call like toxic masculinity. Yeah, and, and uh, I mean, in that way, Top Gun is great. They yeah, have no problem being intimate or like close at least yeah but there are moments like like the thing yeah yeah, yeah oh sure dirty. sure it gets and it like, gets it gets a little well when wait, iceman wait, wait. like after goose dies when iceman is like oh i'm sorry in the locker room that's like yeah and, oh, and, and tom just, cruise almost starts crying that, yeah that tension it's not just because someone died it's like oh i want to console him i want to help him i want to kiss him no, you see, then... then see, not, that's what I saw. Yeah, but then, then <laughs> once again, I think you're, like, being influenced by the by media there. That's so not what he wants to do. He, yeah, Are he wants sure? to... He wants to... Yeah. The look in his eyes. No, no, you know what that is? That is him repressing his feelings a little bit, because he doesn't know how to talk about, like, feelings and saying that, oh, I'm, I understand how you feel and stuff like that. That is just how males are. That, that comes from us being providers that's the, that's the caveman stuff like we have to uh c we have to be in control of our emotions so that the saber-toothed tigers doesn't eat us because we have to protect the women that's mm. what that is okay but but you but you s thinking that in the end he wants to kiss him or something i think you're conflating just uh sympathy with attraction just because we're so used to that ha 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 gay stuff in media but in, in other movies when they're when they're consoling someone when a guy has lost his girlfriend or whatever and his best friend is there to, to give him help to, to to hold him basically when he cries yeah no issue yeah it's not not sexual but this scene he looks like he's gonna
just he just wants to grab his face. Okay, I didn't get it from that scene. That scene in particular, and obviously the uh, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and the hu- the hug scene at the end where they celebrate because that's it. Sort of could be less sexual, but in the same time they do that thing like they do with male female. You have the one person, you see the man who did this thing and he looks over and he's mm. like, oh, that's my girl and I'll go up to her. And then in this case, they just hug. Well, Maverick did just save their lives. There's a lot of well, emotions yeah, but going they're doing around. They're doing that specific thing that they do with a guy and a girl normally. Yeah. That he you, you look at his face, you get his face, his reaction, he's happy. And then he looks towards the girl and he's like, that's my girl. I gotta go kiss her. And in this case, it's Iceman. <laughs> Yeah. And they hug, like, not bro hug, not just hug for happiness. They hug close and for longer than a few seconds. And that on top of all the other a bit too much scenes. No, no, I get a lot of gay energy. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't Which, mind it. No, no, I me, have no me, problem with it. Me neither, but it it's, just it kind feels... of seems a bit displaced yeah and that and that's the thing they like this is was made in the 80s it was supposed to uh uh draw draw guys into joining the 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 navy mm-hmm. i don't think they would portray the characters as gay because back then it was much too much more taboo than it is today mm, yeah so like, and you have the you have the the girl female girlfriend object thing mm. You have that entire plot line, which is also kind of unnecessary. Yeah, but the guy got to get the girl, you know. Yeah, you gotta get a girl. Uh, that's that's that that's probably to to like mask some uh, implied homoeroticism. Like, don't worry, mm-hmm. he's got a girlfriend. Exactly. You know, that's a little which, bit like that, maybe. Well, that's a short plot line and very unevolved. Yeah, well, her her character is also, her character is. Her character is used to uh, to uh, tell his backstory, tell his motivations. Like they talk about his father, his mother, um, yeah, and him him like being more fleshed out as a character. That's basically why she's there. Well, yeah, mm. but it's it's too fast. I mean, they go from seeing each other once, having a fake sex in a bathroom. Just to win a bet. Yeah. To, oh shit, she's my instructor. To, oh shit, they're in love. Yeah, well, first, she is kind of intrigued by him because he's so, he's so hilarious in the, in the, he's uh, in the bar. Yeah, he's cocky. He's confident. And then when she yeah, finds out that he yeah. was the guy that uh, did the, the classic MIG maneuver, where the, the one he does classic, in the beginning. The, no, but, yeah, but it's, no, the it's. Amazing. Yeah, the famous. Yeah, because they talk about it like, it happened like a week earlier, but everyone knows about it. Everybody's talking about it in the movie. I heard you were because well, yeah. it's it's special. You can't do that. They say it's not possible. Exactly, exactly. And he did it. Yes. So yeah, of course it's it's so... she's intrigued, but but she confuses her professional interests and her so, private I don't know what interests. To call it. Well, yeah, but like she's mesmerized by this action he did, this maneuver that shouldn't be able to be done. And then she confuses that with being, oh my god, I'm sexually attracted to him. Mm. No, you're not. You just, you're just conf- confused at how he could do something that's supposed to not be possible in an airplane. Well, I think that I... he's probably a few years younger than her, and he, in this movie, looks like crap. What? No. His eyebrows and his teeth are nasty. Yeah. <laughs> well, his his teeth. He was like buck toothed when he was a kid. There are pictures. I can tell. He looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like he was from Great Britain. I mean, um, even now he has that 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 his mm. one of his big tooth are the center of his mouth, which is weird. Yeah. But in that one, they're like crooked and yeah. Like, oh God! But, and he's got a uh, unibrow. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No. He does. He does. He's got a unibrow. I can't. I cannot understand how wardrobe did not just pluck that. <laughs> Well, but I gotta say though about the the relationship. I mean, it's not like it's not like the, uh, like a well a well portrayed relationship like that. But at least they put some effort into it because initially she is 
sort of, but not really physically attracted to him. Mm -hmm. But then she's actually like intellectu intellectually attracted to him because of the, the, the stunt he pulled. Yeah. So it's not just like she's lusting for him. She's actually interested in him. I think that's, that's good. Well, yeah, but it's, it's too not, short. It's, yeah, too short. It's not perfect. Nowhere near, but at least there was some effort put into it. It's not just, yeah. you're a guy and I'm a girl, let's go. It's not that. But There's something else. As soon else as they there. start talking, they start talking about, oh, the MIG maneuver. Yeah. Barely two words in, it's like, oh, wait. Hello there. Well, they yeah. stop talking about the professional stuff and just. Well, he. he yeah, but he. He, he is. He what? is. Um, He's very reserved in actually talking about it. Why? Well, 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 partly because he doesn't want anyone to get too close to him, get in b b under under his skin. That's why he doesn't talk about his dad. Well, that's that's that why he's part, always yeah, trying why to. Why is he talking about the maneuver more? Why is he so secretive about that? Well, that's kind of just to make her more interested. Like it's classified. I have top secret uh, clearance. Well, you can just read about it then. He's yeah, playing hard to get. Well, yeah, he does that but... a couple of times, and it works. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. He does it a couple of times. It becomes too much. Nah, I liked it. Uh... I liked it. <laughs> but I'm a girl, and I didn't fall for it, so... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a guy, and I fell for it. Because <laughs> of the gay energy. <laughs> well. <laughs> um... No. Uh, yeah, but just quickly going back to the, the homoeroticism. Like... What, <laughs> what it feels like though in a lot of movies, or when 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 people talk about ho ho that scene in a movie, it's like they play the the homoeroticism off as a, like a joke or that it's it's funny, mm. and that that's that's I, like the scenes where where you have guys like hugging it out or or broing out in the, in this movie, it's not played for laughs, no. it's, it's it's serious moments or it's like a, ha a happy occasion or whatever. Um, and I, 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 I think people that say like, oh, that scene was so homoerotic, so funny, uh, they're more insecure about themselves than, I don't want to like make it sound like a humble brag, but than, than I am with <laughs> homosexuality. Cause like I can watch Conan and it's like, yeah, that's a big, strong, cool guy. I look up to him. And it's not like, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm not attracted to him. Oh, I don't have to say that. No. And I get the no. feeling like, but people have to like, uh, uh Assure themselves that I'm not gay just because I like Conan. I'm not gay because I like Top Gun. No, well, yeah, they're always gonna be that kind of people. Yeah. So I never really understood the whole homoerotic thing. Yeah, sure. In some no. movies, like My Own Private Idaho, very homoerotic, right? It's because they're two guys that, well, they don't hook up, but they're you know, it gets close. Yeah. <laughs> so there definitely is homoeroticism in movies. It's just that people conflate, like just. Guys being guys with homoeroticism. Well, yeah, but it's it's be like I said, it's because nowadays media doesn't portray it as as intimate as they do in in Top Gun. Mm, right. So in a way, normally in in modern movie, mostly a lot, and also in older movies, it is more of the bro hug mm. instead of a full embrace but that then, they do here. But then and, I. And I, I I I applaud them for including it. I yeah. mean, it's a, it's good considering when it's made. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But but then but then, but it then is... you still got a lot of like it's maybe are maybe it it could also be, you know they they mentioned it in like every army movie ever like oh there's a lot of guys and new girls. What are you gonna do eventually? All right. We all have needs. That kind of thing. Well, yeah, but that's also. I don't. I don't think that's it because yeah, they es have especially when they're on. Stuff. They're, they're on. They're still in America. It's just an eight-week program. They can even have people come out and visit them. Like mm -hmm. it's not like oh, I'm so desperate. I'll just kiss a guy. No. Like, so it's not that either. And and um, like like nowadays it feels like there's less like emotions between male characters in movies. Like. When mm. did you last see two like two big bros hug in a movie without it being played like oh I'm not gay just just being they're hugging because they're friends. Big bros, no, but like 
teenagers. Yeah. Yeah, sure. But like in a in a the, the first thing that comes to mind to me is is uh, the MTV show uh, Teen Wolf. Yeah. Because the the main character and his best friend are really best friends. They're like brothers. Mm-hmm. And they hug it out when one's crying. They help each other. All that stuff. Yeah. It's fine. It's no gay energy there. Yeah. Even though they do technically have gay people in the scene in the show, like a lot of them. Well, sure, but there's no there's no gay energy when there's two straight guys in the scene. No. Hey, no. no, like it should be. <laughs> yeah. It's it's friends. Yeah. And I and I think I think there should be more of that in movies. Like, cause th- this whole this whole thing that straight guys are like scared of being gay, so that and they repress their emotions. Like that that whole that whole thing. Like, and that's what people well, people and feminists and SJWs call toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. It's not as big of a thing as they make it out to be. No. Like I hug my my best friend all the time. Yeah. Like when we see each other, it's not, it's nothing to it. Like, no. Uh, well, that's media. You have you're always gonna have that thing because people are scared to admit things. Yeah, and that has or, nothing to do with this movie in general. No, I know. I just, I just because it is, it is something that comes up in conversation a lot about this movie. That it is, it is very homoerotic. And yes, yes. in this case, it is. Certain scenes is very homoerotic, yeah. unintentionally homoerotic. But considering when it's made, yeah. I don't blame it. Uh, no. It no. is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, rest of the rest of the movie though. Um, I I gotta say, just from what I've heard about the movie, I was expecting more action. Yes, it doesn't really feel like an action movie. No, well, it feels like an action movie, but, yeah, but there isn't as much like vi- violence. Like, no, a- action. Because the only action you have is in the air. It's in airplanes. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that kind of action is more. There's no. Well, there's a little shooting, but it's mostly just high speed chase, yeah, basically. And training. And you're, oh, are they gonna make it? Are they gonna make it? We estimate it. It's not who's gonna die. Yeah. Is it killing the bad guy? No, but like, well, like, one scene. Yeah, <laughs> but um, like if if you're gonna be really nitpicky about what action actually is it's not like people shooting or people fighting it's no, no, it's fast no. paced it's adrenaline uh, like racing stuff like that and they do have a lot yeah. of that like all the training scenes are very adrenaline filled and him riding, yeah. like the, the music blaring while he rides his motorbike like that is technically action but i, I know what you mean and like it's not that by kind today's of standards that most people are expect, looking for yeah exactly by today's standards we expect a lot more like we talked about in we our second John Wick. exactly like we talked about in our second episode Somewhere here, uh, John Wick Chapter Three. Like, there's constant action in that. Mm. Um, but uh, considering once again, that could have to something to do with the fact that it's made ages ago. Exactly, because you have you have the opening scene, which is an action scene. They're they're uh, they're technically don't shoot anyone, but they 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 fly around and it's uh, it's high stakes. Yeah. And then you have a long stretch where there it's just them setting up this whole Top Gun fly flight school. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, you have a couple of training scenes. Not like they're action scenes, but they're not actually anything happening, like anything high stakes. And then you have the big ending where they actually they do some Shit. proper fighting. It's, yeah. It's fighting. Yeah. Air fighting. And I Aerial think a uh, dog fighting. It's called dog fighting. Even. Yeah. Um. And um. Yeah. By today's standards, sure. It's it's not the most action filled movie. No. Um, but by 80s standards, that's usually how you made uh, action movies. You had a big action scene at the beginning, some small scenes, like short scenes, peppered throughout the runtime, and then the big ending action scene. That how you, yeah. That's how you made action action movies back then. So yeah. for for its time, I mean, they fly real planes. They like they had real uh, active duty uh, combat pilots flying planes, shooting at it, at each other. Um, so like when the action actually happens, I think it's, it's pretty well made. Well, yeah. Yeah. And it made me think a lot about, there's this really, really old movie. I think it's from 1927 or something called Hell's Angels, uh, Mm -hmm. about, about, uh, pilots in the first world war. Uh, there, there'd been a bunch of movies like that before, but this one was, uh, directed by Howard Hughes. Um, you know, the guy from 
uh, you've seen The Aviator, right? With yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. That's, he plays Howard Hughes. Mm-hmm. Um, and he actually had like, I don't know, like dozens of planes with cameras attached flying around doing like pretend fighting with each other. So there was actual actual planes fighting in that movie. And that, I thought of that when I watched this. Because both in that first big scene and the last big scene, there's like real planes flying close to each other and like fighting. Yeah. So that, that was, it was pretty exciting. Well, yeah. But I'm used to more modern actions. Oh, sure, sure. Where there is much more action. So to me, that wasn't an action movie. It was... Well, it, what? Yeah. It's an, an action, action movie. movie but yeah, it's, but it's a like, slow-paced action movie, I guess. Yeah, which is kind of kind of fun because it's it's remembered for its fast pace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, times have changed. And it's going to yeah. be interesting to see how they do that in the sequel. Is there going to be more actual combat? It feels like that. I mean, it should be. No. Or else it won't be keep me up with the times. Mm. At the same time, he is getting old. Yeah, which is kind of a that's a that's a fun thing they they mention. Like he by now he should have been he should be like a two star general sitting behind yeah. the desk. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. still <laughs> a captain flying around. Like wait, wait, what? But that's because you know he has the need for speed still. Yeah, he wants and... to. Uh, yeah, he still wants to do the. The, the fighting and the shooting and running around and all yeah. this stuff. And I and I heard I just I did a, a little bit of research. Uh, there's probably gonna the story is gonna revolve around drones and drone warfare that they're kind of phasing out. Uh, yeah, fighter pilots, the, which they are in real life. That in the in the trailer, right? That is becoming yeah. obsolete. Yeah, exactly. And at some point, it's gonna have to end. But I'm guessing then this is my just my me predict pr- predicting. That it's gonna be like the drones fail and they have to bring mm-hmm. in the real fighters. Probably in the end, yeah, that's gonna be the, the big, the big thing. Um, but yeah, the the fir- the first movie, yeah, m- more than appreciating the action in the movie, like because there is only re- like two really big action scenes. Mm-hmm. I just, I just really like the the energy of the movie. Like it was all the time. It was like. Over the top, them like playing volleyball, being like, Ugh! yeah, and riding motorcycles, drinking, singing. It just they 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 seem to have so much fun. Yeah, apart from Goose's death and his yeah. reaction to that, it feels like a happy-go-lucky movie. You just it it's a feel-good movie almost. Yeah. Apart from that scene. Yeah. That, uh, well, those couple of scenes. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. When he when he has to go and talk to uh, uh, Meg Ryan, who was his no, wife. That, no, not even that one. The one where he's in the hospital, like washing himself off, and they, and his uh, officer or something, I don't know, comes mm. out and tells him, "Well, Goose is dead. You know that." Yeah, and then he looks at all the stuff and he has to collect it, and he's like, on the drive back to his place where where his girlfriend, I don't even remember her name, drives Ca- him. Uh, Carol. Yeah. And she's like, you know I'm here if you need me. Just let me know. He's like, yeah. I just want him back. Yeah. That's the that one and the That's one the... where you see him hitting his head and finding him in the water. Those two scenes are the only like sad downer scenes. Because yeah. even Meg Ryan's character, she's like, you know what he would have done if it was you? He would have kept on flying. Yeah. So it's still ha- happy, but you know. Yeah, well, they're... they're, they're... Upbeat. Yeah, because you kind of have to be, because you don't want to... That was even... We were recently at a funeral, and it was like the the, the, the priest... or Yeah, priest. Yeah, priest. priest. Uh, was like, she was trying to make the situation... Like, sure, it's sad, but it was pretty lighthearted. Yeah. You're talking about all the positive things. and So that, that may, it makes sense. It's just what you do yeah. to, to cope with uh, the, 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 the sadness, it was, the grief. But it was kind of a weird reaction, because... It felt like that's her husband. She should have had yeah. a stronger reaction. Yeah, it was a first. little weird. And, but... then, and then after crying her eyes out, going, but you know what? He would have wanted you to continue. Yeah, but that's... So, that's... But it, it, they wanted to cut it down to a shorter scene, probably. I, I, I think that's just her literally like looking into the screen saying, okay, guys, you're going to have to face death at some point, but you got to keep on fighting. Yeah. That's the that's the whole recruitment they, they thing. Didn't wanna, <laughs> they didn't want to like drag it out too long either yeah. because yeah. the girls don't get too much screen time in this movie. No. 
It's about the, the it's about it's the about guys. boys. Yeah, yeah. But it, I think about I, boys I, being boys. Yeah, actually. but that, that was also like a, a a good thing. Like when when Goose died, there's more than one scene where Tom Cruise is basically like crying because mm-hmm. he lost his friend. It's his the scene best friend, his brother, his family. Yeah. Like the scene where he's picking up all the the stuff, uh, the scene in the in the locker room with uh with Iceman, and yeah. the scene when he talks to Carol, uh, Goose's wife, like he's he's and being in, in, properly in the, emotional. And in the plane where where he can't yeah that's what he's, really he's do panicking. what yeah. yeah he's sort of panicking like his friend did in the first scene uh, yeah whatever that friend's name was uh, Merlin Cougar no Cougar right Cougar. right 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 right. right. Merlin was the He's second. doing exactly what Cougar did. Yeah. Because yeah. Cougar was facing death and he's like, oh my god, I can't do this. Yeah, and that was kind of the plan to the beginning that sometimes, you know, it, it's uh, it's too much pressure. Yeah. But but like if if you if you're good enough you can work through that and he does that. Yes. Um, he just needs some time. Yeah. And those those all the all those things were like the best parts of the movie. I think this was um S- somewhat over over the top, a little bit too machismo here and there, but mm. over overall, what I really liked about the movie was the way they they portrayed masculinity. Yeah. I liked it. I think it was like a healthy look at at masculinity. Um, yeah. may, maybe not. Some things would probably be considered problematic today, like when they they bet who can have sex with the girl first in the bar and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's just you know really. Uh, <laughs> I, c- I can't confirm this, but I, I like I'm pretty sure girls do the same thing from time to time. Maybe not exactly the same thing, but they like they 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 view they view guys as objects. Well, I'm pretty sure they probably do. <laughs> not as much, but that's just in our DNA. No. And it's it's also maybe something that was more common back then, not as much now. Yes, that whole story again. But other than that, like the camaraderie, the, the 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 emotional stuff, I think it's that that's that those things were like, like when when Goose died, it was like, even though we don't really get to know the character super well because it's supposed to be fun, lighthearted movie, I yeah. still like he's yeah they've been they've been together since the beginning of the movie. This is kind of sad. I I got a little choked up. So it, it was yeah. effective. It worked. Well, yeah. So that was the... like he says he's that's his brother, his only family. Yeah. So I think that was the most effective stuff uh, in the movie for me, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it was a bit long for me. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I was because it's what is it? It's a hundred and ten minutes. One hour and forty nine. It's one hour and forty nine. So one hundred and nine mm-hmm. minutes. Yeah. It, it could have been like an hour ten and forty. Minutes. Yeah. Yeah, ten minutes shorter, maybe. Yeah, but that's that's about it, and I think. Hopefully the new one is the same length, like an yes. hour, hour and forty, hour and fifty. Not doing the new type of action where it's two and a half hours long. Yeah, like the, the en- yeah the end fight in this movie was maybe fifteen minutes from when they actually go up into the air until they land again. Like if yes. that would have been a Marvel movie, it would have been like forty five minutes. Yeah, and the build up <laughs> would have been, so been drawn an hour. Out. Yeah, exactly. So I really like that, and I hope they kind of stick to that in the new one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe maybe it's like two hours, but not more than that. Like no. keep it short, tight, keep it, the energy up, and then just finish it with a bang, and then we're done. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. Cause that's that's what this did. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly. Mainly, yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you do you, do you have do we have anything else to say about the movie? Well, it was. We've talked a lot, a lot about the 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 script and the, what you're gonna say the, the the meaning of it, I guess. Yeah. But we didn't say anything about music, which was good, really good. Yeah. I like that kind of music. I like yeah the the, the songs in the movie were are, are good. I like I like all those songs. But they <laughs> they use like the same three songs over and over and over again. Like how True. many times did they play Highway to Danger Zone? Like ten. Every time he went back. <laughs> yeah. That got that got kind of ridiculous. It's like, wait, what is going Ooh, on here? Yeah. It was almost but like a laugh good. moment. It's, it's good, but they should have 
they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have used that song in the beginning because they used that in the opening scene it starts oh, with yeah, the slow song but then they turn they, they hit uh, they go into highway to danger zone they shouldn't have used that until uh, I think it's when he arrives at the school I think they play when he drives the motorcycle they mm-hmm. should have waited to use it then like make, yeah, it, make it more punchy because the song the song is great but it definitely loses some of its punch factor toward... when you've heard it five times in a row <laughs> exactly so while I, I did enjoy the music it got a little repetitive I gotta say a little um, but overall, it was good because that's the thing I, I I don't like about certain movies that sometimes the music is so not fitting that you kind of listen to the music more than you watch the movie. Mm-hmm. In this case, even though I've heard her, I heard the same song over and over and over, it kind of melted into the scenes and into the the other sounds that you didn't really focus on it. Yeah, it got you into the mood. Exactly. It just it just made you feel the feelings you were supposed to. Yeah. Instead of being a distraction. And which you do, it could have been. And you do remember the music afterwards. Yeah. Like like most like action movies nowadays. Other than movies that already have theme songs like uh, Mission Impossible, like mm-hmm. I don't remember music from action movies nowadays. No. Only certain specific songs that like take over and become radio hits yeah but like like actual score in the music uh, in the movie no the only movie i can think of that i remember this from is the dark knight yeah well that that th- trilogy yeah yeah because they wrote an actual theme that mm. permeates the whole trilogy yeah um but like that, that's 10 years old like the last after that pfft, i don't know no the only thing i can say that is is radio hits Songs that become radio hits, even though they're in the movies, like in the Fast and Furious movies, you have a couple of songs in some of the movies that mm. that became become big pop. They're, the they're pop songs and became yeah, big and hits. then became yeah. hits on the radio because of the movie. Yeah, and that's why you remember them because yeah. you can listen to them as regular songs. Yeah, and that's why they used pop songs in this. It's instantly recognizable, <laughs> and then when they played on uh, on the radio, people were like, oh, that's from Top Gun. Oh. Flying planes. Hey, I should I should yeah, join up with the power. navy. Yeah, it's all it's all the recruiting thing. Yeah, it's like in Simpsons when um, Bart joins a boy band, and it's yes. it's all it's all uh, 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 a recruitment oh tool my. to join the navy. Maybe maybe that was a spoof on this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, never thought of it that way. When they play the they play the thing backwards, Ivan Etniash, it's join the, the navy. navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's basically what Top Gun is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and the acting was good, and the camera work was good. It's nothing that yeah. you like. It did nothing that caught your eyes. Like, oh, it's spectacular, but nothing that like bothered you either. It's it's a run of the mill, good, medium, no complaints kind of movie. Yeah, yeah, and especially since you have a director like Tony Scott. Hmm. Um, he's good at like. Uh, grounded but very intense action. I mean, he made yeah. uh, he made uh, Man on Fire. I don't know if you remember that with yeah. Denzel Washington mm-hmm. and uh, Enemy of the State and uh, some more movies in the eighties as well. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a good choice to to have him direct a movie about planes flying thousands of miles an hour. Yeah, I think it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Who's directing the new one? It's actually. Um, I don't know if you would call him a Tom Cruise protege, because he has a few like writers and directors that he decide that he like works with because he can he he likes what they do, but he can also kind of influence them. This is mm-hmm. the guy that uh, directed Tron Legacy, if you remember that okay. one, yeah, like nine years ago. Um, I don't, nine years ago. I don't know if he there. wrote that, but then he also made with Tom Cruise, he made Oblivion. Okay. The movie about Tom Cruise. Oh, well, spoilers! It's spoiler cast. Tom Cruise <laughs> being a clone, uh, put on Earth by aliens to like, uh, like harvest Earth or whatever it is. I don't know. Monitor it. Yeah, it's. I don't it's, know. It's, something I don't, like that. It's a weird one. That's a vi- very visually pretty movie, though. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping this one from the trailer it looks like it's gonna be. Yeah. Well, um, that's a, that's a good sign. 
Yeah. So it's his name is Joseph Kos- Kosinski, and I was right. gonna I was gonna see if he is involved in writing it as well. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Because uh... I'm guessing that mainly it's it's a Tom Cruise project. He's gonna do what he wants to do. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like that that's what he does nowadays. No, no one's mm-hmm. gonna hire him for a movie. Well, it happens, no, he... but like nine out of ten times when he makes a movie nowadays, it's him producing it. Because, hey, I want to make a movie. I have all the money in the world. I'm going to make this movie. Okay, people say. Yeah, and he'll hire people that say yes. Exactly. Let's see. Um, no, Joseph Kosinski is not writing it. However, Christopher McQuarrie, the guy that wrote the two last Mission Impossible movies and directed the last Mission Impossible, um, he is writing this one together with okay. a lot, lot of other car- uh, people. So, it should be good action... Visually pleasing, and I mean it's Tom Cruise, so it's gonna be good action. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He he hasn't done a boring action movie in a while now. No, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's releasing in just shy of a year, July seventeenth, two thousand and twenty. So yeah. in a year and let's say two weeks, we'll come back. And do a spoiler cast for Tom Gun Maverick. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Can't but, uh... wait for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but until then, you know, I don't do. We do... Yeah. No, I think we're good. Yeah, we 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 exhausted Top Gun. Um. So uh, yeah, thank you thank you for watching or thank you for listening. Um. Yeah. Hit, press like if you like the 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 video and press dislike if you dislike it. Of course, leave some creative comments down below. Constructive criticism, um, yeah. but if you did like it, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and little bell thing, so you're always updated when we release a new video. Should be every week nowadays, um, at well, least that's... at least for spoiler cast. There's new stuff on my channel all, all every day now. It's trailer reactions, in depth reviews, uh, news shows, just random videos I put out. It's all about movies. So if you like movies, hit the hit that subscribe button um, and what, the bell. And the little bell, yeah. And uh, if you really like this show and the other shows I make, or we make, um, uh, be sure to uh, check out Patreon down in the links, um, where you can where you can support the show uh, even more. Because uh, and every little bit helps. A buck a month, two bucks, five bucks, whatever. It it really really helps to to keep this sh- this channel afloat, basically. And yeah, uh, yeah once again, monster. We love it. it. You don't have to pay us anything. Just send us a couple of six packs a month and we're fine. Perfect. Yeah. And and with that, we say uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.